Hello, I am Dr. Tanushri Mukherjee. I am working as a full-timer neonatologist and pediatrician in Cloud9 Malad. We can diagnose neural tube defect really fast. So, in early in the second trimester, we do the maternal serum alpha ketoprotein level in the repeat and the routine triple test serum. If the maternal fetal alpha ketoprotein levels are much higher, say if it is 2 to 2.5 times higher, then the baby affected with the neural tube defects chances are very high. And that we can diagnose and subsequently can confirm with the amniotic fluid test also. In amniotic fluid, we can test for the acetylcholine esterase. Okay, that also gives us idea about whether the baby is having neural tube defects or no. The second diagnosis is from the for the ultrasonography. If we do a detailed ultrasonography in the second trimester, almost 90 to 95 percent cases of the open neural tube defects can be diagnosed on the sonography. The treatment of neural tube defects starts from the prevention of neural tube defects. As we know that the folic acid is a magic bullet, so if we start folic acid in the mothers, we can prevent the mothers to have a neural tube defect affected pregnancy. And once the neural tube defect happens, there is nothing cured in that baby. So what we can do, we can treat the baby and we can prevent the complications of the neural tube defect. Suppose if the baby is born with a spina bifida defect, then we have to take the baby immediately for the surgery to close the defect. Otherwise, it can get infected and that can lead to other morbidity. If the baby is having some tethered cord, like here, the cord is attached to the lower part of the spinal column and as the baby grows, that the nerve, uh, nerve fibers get stretched and the baby can have more and more symptoms with that. Here, we have to surgically release the cord so that the baby can get rid of the symptoms. Other common complications of neural tube defects is a hydrocephalus. Here, there is collection of the CSF or the brain fluid surrounding the brain parenchyma and to treat hydrocephalus, most of the time you have to put a shunt in the baby's head and just it's nothing just like a tube that we have to put in the baby's head and that uh, drains the surrounding fluid. Another most common thing that we see in this type of babies is a lots of difficulty in the ambulation and the mobility. So they need lots of support in the form of braces, uh, crutches, wheelchairs, lots of physiotherapy and lots of family support so for this baby for the actual mobility. Last but not the least, we, uh, we know that these babies can have some urinary retention and multiple urine tract infection. So there are bladder surgeries that we can do in these babies to uh, help the baby to make them continent as well as they need some multiple catheterization or clean catheterization to prevent them socially acceptable and uh, many of the time we have to give them some antibiotics so that urinary tract infection can be prevented and kidney can be uh, you know the damaged kidney we can prevent that in an early stage.